Greetings and welcome to Factorio 2.0. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to set requests in your logistics system without having to click every single tile. And this is without any mods. This is just pure vanilla. Now, the first thing we need to do is have a good blueprint for this. Uh, the second thing, we're going to put it on our hotbar. So the easiest thing to do if you don't want to mess up your hotbars, just click an empty one there and... And then we're going to go into our blueprint book. I'm going to have this in my blueprint book. It's just not going to be in the main folder, but you'll be able to find it. Anyway, this is needing to go on our hotbar. And the reason you need to do that is because of how the menuing works in Factorio. Now open your crafting menu or logistics menu. And in order for it not to overwrite anything, we're going to go to the add new section. Do not click it. Instead, Grab this from the bottom toolbar. See how the top one doesn't really work here? Grab this, click Add Section. There it is. All of the stuff in that blueprint is there. Now, the, the caveat of this, of course, is that it doesn't have maximums. It's going to be an infinite maximum, but it's a really good start, so you don't have to do a heck of a lot of clicking. It's my hope that the, the devs will allow us to, like, you know, copy and paste this from save to save, but this is a really good way to kind of prevent a little bit of that time sink. Now, where does this blueprint come from? Let's go and take a look at that. So this blueprint comes from a, a sandbox save file that I have that I've edited in the editor, which you can download. It's in my Google Drive and it's right here, Factorio Framework Test Map 2.0, uh, which I have loaded in the background here. And as you see, it's really easy to find on the map as well. It's request BP right here. Uh, and this is where you can edit the things. So I have set up every item in uh, columns that are 50 rows high. Okay, so it's easier to kind of measure how many you need because a lot are single tile items um, and splitters I've put like sideways. So if we want 50 splitters, we just have one column of splitters. And uh, in that way, you can kind of easily measure. I also have, you know, I've got trains on the tracks. I have signals. I have belts of all kinds. And uh, there is even landfill over here. Now, one of the things you need to be, be careful of is if you want miners, like these big miners and then regular miners, you need to have ore underneath. And if you're not familiar with the sandbox settings, all you got to do is go to resources and then do spray and then say iron ore and you can have iron ore in a big, huge thing right there. Um, and that way you can have a surface on, in order to put your extra miners down if you want some. You can use this trick anywhere you want. It's actually really useful. So for example, if you want to go to space and bring a mall with you, let's go to our uh, blueprints. Let's go here. We have Space Age, say Fulgora, Fulgora Mall. Let's put that on our hotbar. And we go to our spaceship. If we want this thing to request everything to put a mall on Fulgora, we grab this and put it into add section and that will give us every single thing we need for that mall to be built when we go to Fulgora. So it's a, an extremely, extremely powerful tool that you can use to set your requests for anything. You can also share these requests with your multiplayer groups. All you need to do is if you do add section, then click change logistics groups, you can see any logistics group that has been created between either person. So when I'm playing multiplayer, uh, like with Matthias, usually what I'll do is we'll share uh, the creation of this before I discovered this, this new method. Um, we have the trash. So maybe he can set up the trash and I'll set up some other requests and we can both share this because we both have access to this list of stuff. Now be, uh, be careful because if you change an existing group uh, to something else, it'll overwrite the group. So always do add section and then choose an existing se section that you may want to add. To support my work financially, check out the links in the description below, either a super thanks or a uh, tip through PayPal or a Patreon is so, so much appreciated. I could not do this job without you. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.